Uh, yeah, that guy was smoking meth. My hometown. This is Morgan, if you don't already know. And this is the Shark Tank. San Jose is a very, very big city. I moved here when I was 15 in 2004. Went to Willow Glen High School. I found my first phone when I was in Willow Glen. Some of you know that I was 17 when I found that crow in San Jose in the Willow Glen area, although that's not really why I call myself Crow Man 17. It's not technically where the 17 comes from. But uh, today I'm going to be walking around downtown San Jose to show a lot of the changes that have been made in the last few years. And what really hasn't changed at all. Now we got this park over here. Well, like most parks in the Bay Area or California or pretty much any Democrat run metropolis these days. Yeah, you see a squirrel. <laughs> They're, uh, the parks are more for the homeless people than they are for families and kids. They're not, they're not for kids anymore. They're for the homeless. <laughs> when I was in high school, maybe like twice we came here and we smoked. It just, it seems really, it's just a really sad park. Like they built it with all this, what, what, what? You want. They built it with all this intention of it being something, and it just became another homeless encampment. Well, maybe not necessarily an encampment, but you know, junkies. People come here to shoot up heroin and. What? We've got a lot of geese. Canadian honkers are out and about. They're probably wondering, like, dude, what's this dude doing with a crow? I'm just passing by. Don't mind me. So, these bathrooms here, I don't know if they've ever been open. Or are they even bathrooms? Yeah, they're bathrooms. Are they open? My god, they're actually open. Let's just go take a look really quick. And they're cleaning them too. I don't believe it. I don't know, it's been a while. I always assume that these things were closed. There's not even, okay, there is, yeah, so they do close them. But this, not for one day have I, have I ever seen this thing up and running. It's been years since I've even seen a kid in this park. So, I've seen people down here. I've been waiting for a cool day to do this, by the way. I mean, today it's like 75. I'm still a little sweaty, but. Now, I've seen people down here in this creek clean this creek up. Well, at least once. Volunteer groups. The water that flows is, for the most part, you know, fairly clean, except for the, the mercury. A lot of canals run through here but I'm pretty sure this this creek right here is the one this is the river that they wanted to turn into 
like um, something they have in Texas, they got something like this, where they have a creek running through that leads to downtown and they have a bunch of stores and businesses built alongside of it. But I guess they pulled that idea, which would have been awesome for San Jose. I would have loved something like that. And um, I don't know, maybe I should search that. Maybe there's a good video on uh, YouTube of what the one in Texas is like. You don't like those big birds. Anyways, ah. let us continue. Ah. So this is called the Guadalupe River Parking Garden, because that's the river ah. down there. Ah. Now I'll tell you, ah. this is different. Ah. I've never ah. seen it like this before. were meant to just be seats. Why not make them into a mural? They look so much better with these latest additions. So let's go along the trail. I don't even think it's possible. not even public access anymore. If I'm going in there, I'm going into someone's property. There's a sign right there in front. I'm not sure if you read that one. It says, we see everything. We see everything. Even when they're in a drug-induced haze, I'm sure they see everything. Let's go up here. It's been years since I've been up here. You gonna chill there? No, I can't let you chill here. Too many hawks around. Especially downtown, they love the skyscrapers. Downtown City Hall, yeah. This is, you know, the city's taking care of business here. My God. It's been years since I was up here. The closest I came to coming up here last time was during the whole Pokemon Go hype. And I came out here. This park used to be filled with people, like three, 400 people daily playing Pokemon Go. This, when, this was the first year that Pokemon Go came out. I even came down here, you guys, this saw my interviews. I actually did a few interviews down here with some people, if you recall. So I don't know what the hell the purpose of any of this is now, why any of this is sitting up here. Get on my shoulder, bro. Now, I guess it's just a another thug, heroin addict hangout. Okay. On this territory, all the way down the path. Mm. This is the closest thing you're gonna find to kids in this park. Unless they're rebellious 14, 15 year olds coming here just to smoke pot and meet other people that they can get their drugs from find other resources <sighs> who am I to judge when I was 17 18 19 this is exactly what I was doing I was coming down here to this this river and me and my friends we'd come down here and we would get drunk smoke pot sometimes we would do other things usually smoke pot was that a bottle, was a bottle of urine someone came down here and decided to pee into a bottle rather than just take advantage of the uh, the privacy and just you know piss there there's the, what used to say the water company. Now it's just another vacant building. Just look how 
clean that water. This is probably some of the cleanest I've ever seen this water. It's really clear. It's usually pretty gray and gross. So, if you guys remember my Pokemon Go uh, videos, this, this was the side of the park where most of the people were on. And like all this whole area, you just see people everywhere. And as you can see, there's just the usual walkers, joggers, junkies. The good old court for tennis, tennis court, has seen better days. Looks like it's still usable and maybe even People are still using it because it's caught on fire, obviously, a few times. But you know, home has got to stay warm too. So, what if a few trees burn? What's the compassion for? Is it for the planet or is it for people? Can't have your cake and eat it too. Jesus Christ. Look. At this, what is this, some kind of homeless flea market? And this guy, who really passed me a minute ago, just came out of there. Look at that. There, there's, there's a hole cut in the fence. Like they got their own thing going on right now. It's, the, it's cut out. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Let's see if I can. Cut a hole in the fence, and they just got access back there. That's their home. They used to not allow this stuff. Do you guys remember? <laughs> Let's make San Jose the safest, cleanest, big city in America. Wh whatever happened to all that? It's like they don't even care anymore. Look at this. You know the, you can't tell me some homeless people left that there. Just chilling. But we're gonna go into Little Italy right now. This is Little Italy right over here. What is up with this? See, I'm just looking at this. I guess it's someone who probably lives there. These houses are old, but this? I don't think there's anybody living here. And what I'm looking at across the street, this is Little Italy. Oh yeah, huge economic, economic profit going on here. You know, this, this is, shit is actually probably super high just to, 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 to rent a space or buy a space of land here. It's gotta be outrageous. And this is what you're gonna deal with. Completely empty. Vacant shitholes. It's crap. But, so supposedly Google is going to be buying almost all of this out. I don't think they're going to be buying Little Italy, but I don't know. But what, what, what about these houses? Is, is Little Italy going to buy the, out these houses? You know, for Little Italy, there really isn't anything here. There's something poking me in my shirt. So we got like, I guess this cafe is Italian and it wasn't here before. It didn't used to be here. The building was there, but I'm, my guess is that they probably like gave someone some kind of incentive to work to build their thing here. Well, this is open. That's amazing. It actually sign actually says open. Miller High Life. World famous. But the doors are shut. I don't see any people. It's looking for takeout, of course. Please do not enter without a face card. So, I mean, they supposedly serve pork, but apparently they serve sheep as well, since you gotta have your face covering on. Ah! Let's just look at the rest of Little Italy before we take off out of here. So, all of it, of course, is on this, this side of the street, and on that side of the street, you got nothing. It's just building and parking lot and freeway. So, this looks like a house. There's no sign out front advertising any kind of Italian business. And this looks like a house. There's no sign out front advertising any kind of business. And here is an Italian cafe. I don't think they're open. No, they're closed. There's just nothing going on here. Was there ever anything really going on here besides that Miller High Life? Before COVID, honestly, no, not really, not not really much at all. Ah. 
a, a health center. It doesn't indicate anything about being Italian. And now we're leaving Little Italy, San Jose. What do we got here? Signature development. Well, it's Italian colored. This has got Italian colors. And then here we got Ristorante Italiano. One more Italian restaurant. Well, this is like the only Italian restaurant. Ever. I've always felt that Little Italy could be so much more than it is. It should have been fucking Japantown. Japantown! There's more in Japantown that signifies it more as a Japantown than Italy has anything about it being Italian. And, and uh, yeah. Japantown is not really that great either. San Jose is like, it's a really big city and you know, it's got all the stuff that you would normally expect a big city to have, but when it comes to its towns that are like foreign town, I think only Vietnam Town is the only place you're gonna go really to find, it's the only place you're gonna go where you're gonna find like a whole area that is foreign with those people. It's with like, you know, you're gonna find a bunch of Vietnamese there. And lots and lots of mainly Vietnamese stores and restaurants. And that is a hell of a ways from here. This underpass is kind of far from other things. It's further from downtown, so I've never seen homeless people sleeping over here. I mean, we are downtown, yeah, but and we got Little Italy, of course, right over there. But as far as like any convenient uh, places to go, a convenience store or a liquor store or anything like that, they don't really come over here because it's just, you have to go a little bit further. There isn't a lot of foot traffic either. This is a, you know, it's big sidewalks, but the foot traffic, over, there's just nothing over here. This has been here since I moved in. It used to be ABC News or something like that. One of the news stations. One of those fake news stations. Wait. It looks like they're finally gonna fix that now. And there's a notice of development sign right up, right up front. So this one got built here while I was in San Jose. I watched that thing get built. And yeah, I watched this one get built. I kind of wanted one. Ah. And they replaced them with two modern, very modern looking glass buildings. Ah. The other day we were we had a meetup for the Bay Area Conservatives. We, we met up at this place that was an outdoor, specifically outdoor bar in San Mateo, bar, bar restaurant. All right? There is no way you can get inside any of these little uh, train train carts that they turned into buildings unless you're an employee. So their rule was if you're gonna be on your feet, you have to wear your mask, even if you're gonna be drinking your beer, which means drink your beer through your mask, swear to God. I mean, they didn't tell you that specifically, but the way they laid it out was that's, that's what it meant. If you're gonna stand up, you have to wear your mask. If you want to not drink through your mask, then you sit down. And since there's six people to a table, they made our sixth person sit by himself, literally on the other side of the bar. And when I say literally, I mean literally. One group, our group, six people, on the far end of one of the bar, and our seventh member sat all alone on the complete opposite side. Those were their rules. Okay, this, this is brand new right here. The alley at San Pedro Square. So this, is, this has got to be the development that I read about that they were, they were going to make. And this has got to be the walkthrough because I heard they were going to turn all this into some kind of walkthrough. This is all 
pretty cool. Ah. Outdoor dining. I wonder, it's probably different from county to county, my guess is. Ah. Is that if you're in Santa Clara County, they got these weird sit down, stand up rules that don't make any sense. When I was up in Contra Costa County, it was ah. like, oh, wait, but when we were in San Mateo, that's not Santa Clara County. So some, some counties, yes, some counties, no. Ah. It's so bizarre. Ah. This is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so this is this is cool. I haven't been over here yet. I God, I, I can't wait for November 4th when all this COVID crap finally goes away. Then we can come over here and check all this yeah. stuff out. This almost looks like a little Italy more than little Italy. This is badass. This is stuff I've never seen before. But we're ah. completely dead, completely empty. <laughs> I first came here, the first time I came here, I remember I, I was hungry, but I had to use the bathroom. So I came in and the first thing I wanted to do was use the bathroom and the lady hesitated to let me use the bathroom. She just thought I was trying to, I guess she just thought I was trying to sneak the bathroom. And so then I had to tell her, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna buy some food too. Can I use the bathroom? And then she's like, okay. But it was literally an emergency. It was such an emergency. Oh my God, why is it all papered up? I wonder if they're doing some remodeling or if it's just done. Well, that would suck. Well, Susie Q's, Susie Q's, Peggy Sue's, Peggy Sue's. There's two of those, two restaurants like that in San Jose, Susie Q's and Peggy Sue's. Well, one of them is gone. Now, for all the COVID people, they got all this outdoor dining here in uh, San Pedro Square. And here they're also doing, like I said, the rule, stand up, mask, sit down, no mask. Like if I, if I stopped, if I stopped and stopped, stopped walking, someone would likely come up to me. Cause we were here for my brother's birthday just a couple of days ago, a few days ago. And yeah, they're pretty strict about all the rules. You stop, put on your mask or keep moving. <laughs> You know, I, I gotta mention this really, really funny thing about COVID is that when, when it was March, I saw people making posts saying, does anybody even know anybody who's who's gotten gotten it yet? I saw a lot of those. It was like four or five people making that, making that post. And then I saw, I think it was Amber, made a post saying that by June, people are gonna be wondering, gonna be asking, does anybody know anybody who doesn't, who didn't get COVID? Oh. April, May, June, July, August, September. I still don't know anybody who's gotten COVID. I mean, I know people who know people, which is equivalent to he said, she said. <laughs> I used to be up on this street every single day going to work. I would commute from Keys, get off on Santa Clara Street right down here, and then catch, not that bus, but a bus heading that way, 22, to get off uptown to go to work to my job at, uh, at Togo's. Now I'm approaching what was once the heart of downtown and for some people still kind of is the nastiest, nastiest. First in Santa Clara, second in Santa Clara. Is there others? I don't know. Here's the old Lincoln School. I'm glad they changed that. I tried to get in there once. had on the radio some some advertisement that if you write an outstanding essay you can get into the school for free and it was all false advertisement I was at such a desperate time so depressed and trying to figure out what the hell to do with my life that I wrote the outstanding essay and went in there and tried to get into this Lincoln School of Law 
only to find out that yeah it's not just a not just an essay like we got one of these little machines running around I wonder if they're just getting along on their own or if they got some kind of camera and some guy controlling them now here's something you guys might remember anybody come down here second Santa Clara first in Santa Clara when I was first down here there's the wolves. Yeah. Finally long gone. Some of the... Ah, uh, I just, I did not like that. The nastiest, ugliest. I look at me and talk shit ugly people. Both, both, both customers and staff. Might as well be talking about myself because I was a customer there many times. But this place right here, when I first moved to San Jose, this was a Mexican restaurant. As you can see, the arches are still there, but now they just filled them in. Eventually it got bought out or something or sold. Uh, and Jack, no, no, Carl's Jr. bought it. So it was Carl's Jr. for a while, but that only lasted for like a couple of years, two or three years maybe. And then they just decided to board it up, which sucks because this whole street, if you go down the street here, it's pretty much just like that. That's pretty much what's been happening slowly to downtown San Jose. Everything is just getting boarded up. They, they, they invested, from what I've heard, I don't know this for sure and I don't know any names, but a lot of money was invested to try and revive downtown San Jose but at the same time they also set some really stupid rules about what people were allowed to do like it was meant to be business and not really so much about fun this is just hearsay and this this used to be the VTA office across the street right there what is it now they got some some Jewish cafe right there that is still still up and running somehow somehow miraculously is still still there but it hasn't been there for very long it, it's been there for like a number of years like five years or something but i remember when i opened up and there was there was nothing there that was just some random business that there was there was nothing going on there and everything else around it i thought it wasn't gonna last because everything around it is just shut down and it's all boarded up and there's just nothing but homeless people oh, one more thing before i leave this this area so one day when i was going to work I'm sitting right here at the bus stop, Santa Clara Street, right? I'm right here at the bus stop. And the first time I, I, this is the first time I've ever had to witness this. I know it's like just a regular thing in San Francisco and it's pretty much become just a regular thing now here in San Jose, even though the, the crowds are dispersed. This used to be just filled with fucking crackheads and homeless people everywhere. So I'm sitting there at the bus stop right over there before they built that, that shade thing. It was just, it used to, it used to just be a couple of benches that were like, they were like, you know, those curved benches like that. And it was a tree. Oh wow, that tree has gotten big. And I can tell you exactly why that tree got so big. I turn to my left and I look and I see some homeless guy with his pants down to his ankles, bare ass, leaning up against this tree sideways and shit is just flowing. And I turn and look at the same time that this lady sitting next to me turns and looks. And I just, I remember the look on her face. She just, she just turns her head and she looks at me and she's like, oh my God. And, and I just, I myself couldn't believe that, that I'd witnessed that right there on the streets. And broad daylight, nobody stopped him. It was no big deal. Wow, okay, this is different too. Fountain Alley, gone. This looks a little bit better. I don't know. It actually kind of looks like exactly as it does across the street. I mean, it looks a little bit better, but I don't think so. I have a feeling that this is not gonna... No, I don't think so. This isn't gonna improve anything at all. This looks the same as it does across the street. This alley was way more active too when I first came down here used to call crack alley or something when i was in high school i came to this this uh light rail station right here i stopped like right over there man it was different they didn't have cameras everywhere or anything and and as i'm walking like there's just like black guys everywhere mostly just crackheads heroin addicts and and one dude like i don't know he looked like he was probably 60 65 years old or something he walks up to me and he's got like a fistful of money and like just just bills sticking out of it and and i'm not sure what he, he says something to me about some drugs and he asked me if i can get this or that i can't remember what it was that he said and then at the same time like this other black guy who looked not like a crackhead but probably a crack dealer but he was all fucking ripped and buff and muscly he just walks right up to the three of us or to the two of us and he stands there like security or something and i just looked at him for a second 
and he's just looking at me, looking down at me. And he's just like, what's up? I'm like, uh, hey. And then I look back at the older gentleman, cracked out gentleman with a fistful of money. And I'm just like, uh, yeah, no, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. And then I, and I continued on my way and I ended up coming, coming this way, coming over here to this, this light rail station. Cause that's the northbound. This is the southbound. This is the way I take to get home. Or at least I used to back in the day when I, when I took the train. So this is all closed up, closed up, closed up. They opened up, I gotta tell you this. Okay, so they, when they opened up a restaurant right here, they opened up this place. It was like some kind of Texas barbecue spot. I think it was right here. But before it was a smoke shop, I guess it just didn't last. Why not? Too many, not enough drug dealers and crackheads up and down this fountain alley, I guess. But after that, and after the smoke shop failed, they opened up this Texas barbecue place. And I went in there one time and I saw that their beers, the cheapest beer was 450. And I was just thinking, man, 450, like that's the cheapest beer you have. And you're, you're downtown and you just opened up and you're going straight for those downtown prices. It was like literally one beer, only one beer for 450. Everything else was like $6 and up. And I just knew, I knew it wasn't gonna last. I mean, if, you, if you're gonna open up fresh, especially in this shithole spot right here, you gotta offer, give some people some incentive to wanna come into your, your, your restaurant and buy, especially if you, oh, Texas, the theme was Texas. Texas, here, in this shithole. I, people have died here. I've witnessed fights, I've seen blood spill in the streets. This is crap. Now they've improved it, yeah, but it's still crap. Sometimes you improve a place just by getting rid of all the people and all incentives for people to be there. It could be as easy as that. All right, let's, let's just head over to City Hall now. Excuse me, sir. Can I get a picture with you? Hey, check me out, Crowman 17, I love your hat. Yeah, it is. Now, here's something a little exciting about me personally. You ever wonder where I got this hat? Right here, downtown San Jose. A lot of people died here. I remember my friend's friend died across the street, got shot right there. God, this was such a shitty club. Oh, how ironic, of course. The place where all the black people die. Black lives matter. Now, here's where I got my hat, right next door. Yes, this is an amazing hat store. It's nothing but reflection. And it's where I got my Stetson. You can see, there it is. I don't know, it's a similar hat though. Those are Stetson's right there on the wall. But yeah, it's a great store. Check it out. Board it up. Board it up. Board it up. Everything's so boarded up and they just keep building. All this development. And all this vacancy. I can't believe that shit was still there. I used to work there at Liquid Restaurant, Liquid Lounge. Yeah, I worked there for, for, for a short while. It was, uh, it was a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. I was pretty much like cleaning up puke and piss and period blood and for, for hours, Saturday night, Friday night. From just, it's disgusting, and I, I didn't even know how bad it was, and I was making about $4 an hour. The old Houdini smoke shop's still here. Those guys are actually pretty cool. We got to know them because we used to work right here at the uh, fixed laptop. Mm, Carl, my brother, we did, a lot of, we did a lot of work here. This is different. There was this really cute Chinese lady that worked here. I liked her. And here's the game shop. Holy crap. Kevin, you're in trouble. No mask. Oh. Oh my goodness. It is Steven guy. How you been? Doing good. Oh, it looks like that's doing really well too. Oh, it's closed on Wednesdays. Okay. You need to go downstairs. Yeah, should I? Yes. Okay. Up, to, up here, then downstairs. Now this is some major changes. Look at all this space. I was working back here in this spot. This was all nothing but computers and I'd be back here 
trying to organize all these computers. It's just, it actually looks like some kind of a Best Buy or something now. <laughs> and this is where we used to work. The game shop downstairs. You wanna go check it out? Yeah, yes. Okay. Let's see what's happened. Oh, wow. They painted game shop downstairs. So I actually painted these steps, but I changed the colors. It was black and red. I made them black and red all the way down, and I guess they changed them to brown and white, but probably for safety. I painted these pipes. I never really could get to finishing them. So, this is the new game shop downstairs. Oh my God. Honestly, I have to say it looks better. I like it. Don't scare the bull, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't scare the bull. Oh, my... You filled in the trash. <laughs> Good. No more trip hazard. I painted these, these cubes down here. Wow. Un... Oh, my God. How were we even working with how little space we had before is... I don't understand. This, no, we, we can have sports down here, there's so much room. This is unbelievable. This is not at all like I remember. All, the, all this, this was all blocked off with wall. We had this room over here, which I painted. I painted all this stuff on there, but you know, all my paintings and stuff is gone. Which reminds me, I actually had some paintings here that were left here and Kevin never knew what happened to them. And I was selling them for $25 each. I asked him, Kevin, whatever happened to my paintings? You don't know. This is amazing. The new and improved. Let's see all this. Wow, comic books. What? This is more like, uh, what's that, uh, what's that card shop in Campbell? Or there's a card shop in Campbell. I can't even remember what it's called. But wow, this is all comic book area. They have a whole section for comic books and the bobbleheads. <laughs> well, so this place is still here. Game shop downstairs, still operating apparently. Not open on Wednesdays. I'm giving him free advertisement right now. I still want my paintings. But if, you're, if you happen to be downtown San Jose, this is operating. So come check it out. Not on Wednesdays. And they're closed on Sundays too, I'm pretty sure. That's that. Let's get back on the streets. Still haven't made our way to City Hall yet. 7C Sushi. Because this is, before 7C Sushi, it was, it was uh, Godzilla Sushi. Before Godzilla Sushi, it was Ninja Star Sushi. That's when I was in high school. That goes back, but it's always been a sushi shop. Barbershop, that was a good shoe shop, and I was gonna go there to get my shoes uh, rebooted. These ones I'm wearing right now. That's not working out. Board it up, board it up. Whatever happened to the psychic? People stopped coming to the psychics. I guess she didn't see that coming. SIP, need a, need a bike? Used to love to come in here and hang out, but uh, ever since COVID, everything's just been so royal and screwed. Look, they're only open Saturdays and Sundays from 4 to 8.30. Unbelievable. <laughs> what kind of what kind of hours are those? Alright, so we're back to City Hall. This is my last live stream. I'm so glad that San Jose is not just erupting into chaos like it did before. It had a very short period of time. You guys saw my live stream when I was down here. Very short period of time where people were acting the fool and apparently pissing off the construction workers here too. And it didn't work out so well from them, for them, from what I've heard. But, which I'm glad. Those buildings actually look pretty cool. I'm kind of impressed for the longest time. This is really all you saw when you thought of downtown San Jose, when you look at pictures of downtown San Jose. You see the city hall in this crazy design. And what exactly is it good for? Absolutely nothing. 
Usually they got that thing running with water. These things right here are just blowing out steam, misting steam into the air, which is actually a huge waste of water. Do you really think that those steam things are cooling anybody off? No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So what happened here? God knows. A shattered window, a little bit of vandalism. It's empty. Huh. Okay, I might have heard something about this, that they were trying to sell it. But the design is so flawed that nobody wants it. Again, I'm just, this is just what I've heard. Not based on any, I don't have any facts, I don't have any sources for that. But I heard that they were trying to sell this. And as you can see, it's obviously completely empty. And you can see there's another window over there on the other side that's also been shattered. These windows are not straight, as you can see, they're, they're curved. You gotta get curved windows to replace these windows. So I don't know if this is like homeless shelter over here or something, but ever since I was first coming to San Jose, that's all I ever see over here is just <sighs> bummy looking people. Bummy looking bones. Sweet home. I swear to God, I think that I think that was a chick, and I think she was just chilling in there topless. I think <laughs> that's what it looked like to me. So, uh, Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Library. <coughs> they should add a few more syllables to that, make it a little more easier to say. <coughs> Fun times here. This building right here. You should go up here to the top of the roof. And I'm sure kids still do it today, for as far as I know, they still do it. There's a security guard. I don't know if it's the same security guard, but people go up there and smoke weed. But at the same time, it's not really illegal anymore. Like, you could just kind of stand on the street and smoke a joint and nobody's really gonna bother you unless you're smoking in a place that somebody would not want you to be smoking a cigarette. All right, so yeah, this is the, this is where it is. We take this elevator right here, take it all the way to the top up there, and we just smoke right there on that balcony. Sometimes up on the top where, where the cars are parked. Those were good times. When I was homeless, <laughs> we'd wake up and we'd come here to the library. You couldn't sleep in the library, so we would just be one of the first people there. And then we would sit there and try and try our hardest to stay awake or at least if we did fall asleep be in a position where you couldn't really tell that we were asleep it was not easy if they even got the slightest clue that you were asleep they'd come throw you out one time i was right here with my buddy my buddy joey and our buddy malcolm if you guys remember the video of my live stream from when we were checking out the protest downtown san jose the guy that was waving the mexican flag dressed head to toe like a ninja, that was Joey, Joey Gomez. I was here with him after high school and our other friend, and we stopped here and we were talking about whether or not one of them could jump off of these stairs with their skateboard. And then out of nowhere, some dude with a camera, like a big expensive cannon comes by. He stops and he starts looking at us, watching us, like waiting, anticipating that one of us is gonna jump it. And so one of our friends notices him and says, are you gonna take a picture of us if we try to jump this? And, she, and he's like, if you try to jump it, I'll try to snap a picture. And it was so worth it. Our buddy Malcolm ran it, jumped it, hit the ground, and the tail end of his skateboard snapped. Right when he hit the ground. So. Somehow we were able to still ride that skateboard around with, with the tail just like that. <laughs> and the back end completely snapped. It was fun. The guy got the picture too. And he, took, he took two pictures, one of him jumping off and then uh, the other of him standing holding the board. I remember I got some, I can't believe, I remember when this opened up, I wasn't sure if it was gonna last and I hoped it did, Tangerine Hair Studio. And I got my, my fiance in high school some tickets. And then for her birthday, I was gonna give them to her and I lost them and I couldn't find them. I looked everywhere. Eventually I was finally able to find them and give them to her. I don't know if she ever used them.
Yeah. There's so much more people hanging out here. And the stores have changed. The stores are always yeah. changing because, I mean, yeah. the lease has got to be outrageous. So, yeah. Yeah. nothing ever really lasts. And you always see lots of traffic, people coming through here. The only thing that I've seen that's actually stayed is the post office. That's it. Post office is the only lasting business. Surprise, surprise. When I was in high school, this was like, this was the real spot to hang out. Circle A, still here. I remember when I came by and we saw, we would hang out, me and our friends, we'd all sit in front of Circle A, and we'd um, skateboard, we'd skateboard right here. Before they put these plants here, we'd all sit along this. And we'd smoke weed. And sometimes, if you were bored, you could just get on the train, come downtown, and sit somewhere in this area on 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 that spot right there or whatever over here wherever just sit and wait and eventually one of your friends from school is going to come by and then i remember one one day i came here i was bored as hell and i think for like two days in a row i came and i sat there with nothing to do no one to hang out with and didn't see anybody didn't see one friend come by and that was pretty much the end that's when i stopped coming downtown to just to hang around hang out hang around and look for people to that i recognize to hang out with <laughs> that was pretty much the end of that but rosie's and posies was still here <laughs> first time i bought some flowers here again my high school fiance i was getting on the train right here and the door closed and I was looking at the store and I was like, oh, it looks like it's open. And I remember I just stuck my finger right in the door and the door closed on my finger and then opened up right away. Like, that's all I did. The door, so I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get off here. Camera 12. Seen a good number of movies here. I don't know why it shut down. But I guess it just got done with it. So it's boarded up. My God, all the things that are boarded up. There's just not really anything happening anymore. And you know, at first glance, it doesn't seem like it's so run down. But this is quite a, quite an experience for me to be walking through this much of downtown and seeing so many businesses boarded up. Nothing, is, nothing ever works out. I'm like this place right here, this isn't what it, this, this will be gone next year. Nothing ever lasts here. This lasts. Johnny Rockets, people recognize this. So that's always, I think this is probably always going to be here, even through the COVID disaster. It's probably always going to be there. Feels like I've been out here for hours. I haven't checked the time, so I don't even know. More vacancy. More vacancy. Wow. This is this Japanese store. Everything was outrageously priced over there, but it was like it was like a bed bath and beyond, but everything was imported from Japan. Didn't last. What a surprise. Bijan Bakery and Cafe. I actually worked for them for a short while. Uh, a very short while when I was working two jobs and uh, I'll tell you man, Milav is not a nice nice lady. It's just no love in me love. Oh, how did you train him? Raise them when they're little. From where? How did you find them? It's anywhere. Crows are everywhere. The only place you can't find them is Antarctica. <laughs> now he can fly. No. So, anyways, yeah, I was working for Bijan Bakery, and not yet. Sometime, someday, and. uh yeah, she wanted me to memorize all the uh, all the drinks, and I was doing my best to try and memorize the drinks. And so I started writing them down. I had a piece of paper, and I was writing down what, what all the drinks were, like what, what their uh, what makes them up, whatever. And anyways, one day, Milav comes up to me and she asks me for the piece of paper that I write down all all of the uh, the drinks to help me with. She takes it from my hand as I hold it up, and she just rips it up into pieces in front of me, and then walks away. I should have just walked off the job and quit right then and there. That was so disrespectful. But anyways, enough of that bitching. Anyways, so uh, what do we got? The park, again, another park. This is Cesar Chavez Park. Um,
This is where they have Christmas in the park. There really isn't much to see here when they do have Christmas in the park anymore. There's never really anything going on. If you want to see a bunch of homeless people, that you just come to the park. Like you're not gonna, you're not gonna go to a park and not see homeless people. If you want to see kids go to a school, you're not, you're not gonna find kids at, at a park anymore. But we do have like skaters. The skaters, each generation of skaters, they end up coming over here. They still skate year after year. <laughs> they just keep skating. This was either Peggy Sue's or Susie Q's. I guess both Peggy Sue's and Susie Q's are gone. No more Peggy Sue's, no more Susie Q's. Wow. That means that there isn't any 50s diner in downtown San Jose anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong, please share the address if you know of a 50s diner anywhere near downtown San Jose. I don't think there is one, not anymore. zero for the American flags that were burned back towards the the stairs where I showed you guys the skater incident that's the direction we walked in while it seems like the majority more than half of everybody ends up coming this way and got caught up in conflict at, between this intersection and I, I guess this intersection maybe even went a little bit further. But I tell you, of all the changes that I've seen, what I haven't seen any anything yet of is that this this Google campus that um, Google's supposedly turning downtown into. There's a lot of old Victorian houses that are fairly run down they're not very well taken care of but they are still uh, historical landmarks well i don't know if they're like registered as historical landmarks but still they're old victorian houses well over 100 years old and they're gonna google's tearing them down for their google campus i don't know what to say i don't really want this google campus but at the same time like those houses should be restored why not just restore the buildings and nobody's doing it? If you don't, if you don't maintain your stuff, it's going to collapse or someone's going to come along and collapse it for you. And, uh, looks like Google's going to be the one to do that because nobody's maintaining some of these Victorian houses. It's really sad. Here, if not here, sometimes we party down, right on the other side over there, sometimes over there, it doesn't matter. We were just a bunch of teenage bums. We'd, you know, throw our cans wherever, if it was glass, smash it, tag up the place. We had graffiti everywhere. Everybody had their tag. I was Crowman. they have information informational guides over here to teach you about the Guadalupe and to tell you explain why it's so important that you don't fish here during the winter between November and April it's closed because the steelhead run and uh, the environmentalists of course really really want to protect that but they don't really want to protect it against well, they want to protect it. I don't know, it's really confusing because they got, at the same time, they got all of this going on over here. So, and all the 
could be. Oh my god. There's a duck down there. Well, I guess I found their garbage can. It's almost like a homeless flea market. Try, try so hard to, you know, not disturb anybody. Without making it seem like I'm trying to, you know, film their affairs and whatnot. Fortunately, I do think the crow is kind of a distraction for most people who are going to look at me. Look at that. Wolfgang. Ah! Oh. Ah! This is what's become of your San Jose Guadalupe River Park and Garden. Ah! Your Guadalupe River. looks kind of inviting to be honest the way they got it all set up like that it's like redneck lifestyle this redneck lifestyle you might ask yourself why did you come this way the first time I did walk right past all of this this is the city of San Jose Providing a bathroom for them. This this is just a this is just a free for all parking lot. You can do whatever you want here. They have they're providing a bathroom for them. They have shade. There's nothing going on. Nobody's monitoring this at all. You paid for this, San Jose. Well, you guys, that's my San Jose. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If there was anything you saw that you liked, let me know. If you saw anything you saw that was just unacceptable, let me know. Thoughts and opinions on San Jose, 2020, September. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time and I've been putting it off and I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading anything lately. A lot of things have happened. I don't want to throw out any excuses. I'm going to keep pushing through all this and try to bring you guys more content. 
and let me know if there's anything in San Jose that maybe you guys want me to check out and do an investigation on. Anyways, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified when there's a new video. I try to put out a video once a week, but you know, things happen. I'm not always able to get that to happen. I try, and I'm really sorry about the break. I'll be getting back on it and be producing more content for you guys. Please, if you want more content like this, then give me a like. I do appreciate it. Come down to San Jose. Pay me a visit. Me and Morgan will be looking for you.